In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot a coax-based system. Here's what a coax-based DVR looks like. You've got coax ports in the back of it. It uses a camera that has a coax input. It's also called a BNC input. And it uses a coax cable. This is a Siamese coax cable where on one end it has BNC and power. This is a 12 volt DC jack. Get the 12 volt DC plug on the other and another BNC connection. Notice the video connections look exactly the same on both sides, but the power looks different. When you run your cable, you want to run this way to the camera, this way to the DVR, because this one is going to plug into your power supply. Here's what a power supply might look like for you. It's a wall wart that plugs into the wall, surge suppressor, connects here into your 12 volt DC connection, and you've got a good clean power connection going into the camera. The other side, the other side on the camera plugs in this way, where power goes into the power jack on the camera, and the BNC goes into the BNC, that's the video connection, and you've got a good clean connection there. You should definitely enclose these on the camera side when you're putting them up. Or better yet, please don't leave them hanging like this because water's going to drop in on them and corrode the connector for either the video power, short out the camera, kill the camera, and then you're going to call us for warranty support. Or it's going to be out of warranty. Make sure you enclose this portion of a camera inside of a junction box or inside the wall. Thank you very much. Now let's show you how to troubleshoot a camera. Let's say you've got all this hooked up, it was working fine, or it's not working at all. And once you received it, you think it's the camera. So here's how you troubleshoot your system. First, the most important thing to have for troubleshooting, you gotta do a bench test. You gotta be in front of a DVR just like this with the BNC facing you, and here's what you need. First thing you need is a 12 volt, one amp power adapter. Granted, none of your cameras are over the 12 volt, one amp requirement, focus in on this for you you should be able to see it 12 volt one amp center positive what that means is the center pin inside here it's positive that's what you need for a security camera anything else you're gonna fry the camera the other thing you can have is a cable you did not crimp lots of times we get issues with customers crimping their own cable and guess what it's not crimped correctly so they have all sorts of problems this is what a crimped cable looks like. You put these metal tips on on a roll of coax that you uh, bought and then you put the crimps on. This is a factory made cable. It's usually thinner, but it has your video ends pre-crimped from the factory. It doesn't look like anybody put these ends on, okay? This is a factory pre-made wire and the other one was a hand crimped wire. So you wanna have either a pre-made wire that you know is actually HD video capable or a properly crimped and tested cable. Okay? This is for advanced users who know what they're doing. Since I know what I'm doing, so here's how you're gonna test it. Plug in a power supply into the wall. So now I've got my power supply connected right over there. Let's make everything more in focus so you can see it. Here's my 12 volt DC jack. Sorry, this is a 12 volt DC plug. I've got my video connection. I'm gonna plug it in. This is my trusty cable I've been using for about four years. Never fails me. Made it myself. Gotta get a good cable or ask us. So how do we connect the camera? To bench test the camera, the first thing you want to do is take the camera, plug it straight into the power supply going into the wall to make sure there is no voltage loss or amperage loss from your power supply or from your wire run. And then connect it using a good trusty cable, which I cannot emphasize enough, that's why I'm emphasizing it multiple times during this video, to make sure you can actually make a good connection to the camera and test out the camera and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Here you see, I'm able to get my camera powered up and video properly put in there. You can have all sorts of issues here with your camera if you happen to have a bad cable, a bad power supply, signal transmission issues, grounding issues, you're mounting the camera on a metal surface, 
what have you. Lots of different issues can arise. You can easily find out if it's a fault of the camera by doing this bench test, what I'm doing right here. I'll just show you here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you need to do. And if you're really into tr troubleshooting and you've got lots of lines going through your video or something, what you can do is... Test both day and night video. Good clear picture in the day. I'm going to turn the lights off. And here we go. The picture got really bright because the camera's IR turned on and we can actually see it right here. I focused in on my iPhone here and good clear video. See everything, no lines. So if you happen to be having lines on your cable connection where you have your camera mounted, the issue is gonna be most likely in the cable or a grounding issue where it's mounted or you've got high voltage current near the camera. So you wanna make sure you eliminate all that by first dismounting the camera, doing this bench test to figure out if it's really the camera or something happening on your end. So if a camera, let's say, doesn't give you any video, what do you do? Same process, dismount the camera, Get this little trusty power supply that I showed you right over there that I got plugged into my outlet right there. Get yourself a short cable, do this test. You wanna make sure first, your power is good. Second, your cable is good. Third, your camera is good. And once they're all good, you're all good then and everything will be working fine. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Thanks for watching.